podcast like this. Check it, check it, check it. It's a unique house. It's your boy ECO, and I'm here with the lovely, amazing, official, outstanding, greatest woman alive that I've ever met. Uh, you know, uh, Mr. Maker, what's going on? Not nothing. You know, my dad walk on. <laughs> Man, hey, we got special guests here today, y'all. We we are in Los Angeles. She don't need no introduction. She been all over the internet, man. Via uh, No Jumper, uh, Cam Capone. I done seen her everywhere, mm -hmm. and she be kicking it, man. <laughs> Check it, man. Lupe is in the building, man. How you doing? You already know what time it is. I, you know, I came out here when he told me that he was Cam's folks. I had to come, you know. Ah, oh, that's my boy, yeah, man. You know what, I had to. That's my boy, bro. Uh, how, that's that's crazy, man. Like like when I. Look look up here and see the what goes on up here because the south is a little different but it's like man you be killing it every time you uh crib mac c mac i mean i be like man they getting to it man so <laughs> how did y'all even start even getting in the front of a you know like audience as far as podcasting for as just being interviewed how did that even start well it originally started with me being his driver right so i'm taking him to all the podcasts and that's how that's how I started like getting the report with people like I was always in the background, and then um, Channel Five one time put me in the front like I came out of, that was the first time I became I went to the front Channel Five with uh, Talk more Channel Five you know ch uh, Channel Five uh, with Andrew Callahan I don't know if you've seen that show no I didn't see it but you haven't seen it no but have you seen his podcast I mean his uh, channel no you need to look at it it's really good he really? just came out on no jumper. So he's the first one that put me on. But I was already going in a jumper and they already knew me, but I never went in the front, you know, cause I was always his driver. But being with C-Mac every day, we did content for his channel. So I was always doing the recording and doing the content. So that's how people already knew who I was cause he was posting me on his YouTube channel. You know, whatever we did, we went, went to go eat, we record each other cause we're just funny, bro. We just be talking back and forth. It's just funny. like. When he calls me in the morning, he just makes me laugh. Every as soon as he calls me, bro, he calls me like early in the morning. He has his little routine. He calls the same people every day, first thing in the morning. How did you meet C Mac? Um, through the hood, basically. I'm I'm from four six. He's from five five, and we got the same homies. But I'm older than him, so I used to like sell tacos in front of his, one of his homies' shop. I, I started with, with the, I had my own business with selling food, mm -hmm. and like he asked my homie like about me, and then once he found out I was green. Then he asked me for a ride, and then it, it, I did a TikTok. We did a TikTok, and that shit went viral. And then I was like, "We need," because I told him when I when I would call him, like, "Man, we need to do a TikTok. I know it's gonna go viral." You know, he wasn't doing TikTok, and no dancing. We did, but once he got with me, I started. We started doing different things, bro. And that TikTok is what made me record him all the time and do different things with him. Before you got a TikTok, or, or before he approached you, did you know who he was? I knew who he was. But not like not to the capacity of what people seen him as. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like my son, that was his fan. So he kind of told me that was his fan. That's what made me talk to him more. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because I, I I really wanted to meet him for my son. But when I met him, he just I got in my car and I gave him a ride and it was that was it, bro. <laughs> and it, and it wasn't even like oh he's trying to get at me. He just like I don't know. We just gravitated towards each other. Mm. Wow, you know? he's yeah. he, he definitely one of those guys that everybody started putting their eyes on. Not just everywhere, like yeah. people from everywhere. What was the craziest thing that sticks out to you that people really like? That you like, dang, how did they how did they do that? Like, how did they link with C Mac or how oh, did like, they see us like that? You oh, know? I, like to me, it was like because I'm I think probably because I'm Mexican and then he's black. When people see like. You know the connection how we are together like it's different they don't really usually see a, a team like that you know what i'm saying a, especially a female and a male that are you know they don't ever see that so like it was different for everyone else you know what i'm saying and to me i'm used to it because all my homies you know what i'm saying they're all they're almost they're all kind of like you know they're black they're black bro they're from a hood like that's what i'm used to so to them it was new but to me i was already used to being with people like c mac bro wow it's like Mm -hmm. It's normal to me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, yeah. but um, growing up in the hood, um, mm -hmm. as a female, mm -hmm. as a Latin female, mm -hmm. how, what was it like? When when, when I got to the hood, it was, yeah. To me, it was like. Because were you born and raised in? I was I was raised in Compton, but then I came to the hood. When okay. I, when I came, became, when I was 19. Isn't Compton still the hood? Yeah, it's the hood. Yeah, I, <laughs> well, I was dodging bullets. It's the same thing. Like wherever I went, okay. it's the trenches. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, like. From a young age, I already seen, seen it. Is so, it harder for for men than it is for women? It's harder for men for sure. 
Okay. Because they're more of a target. You know what I'm saying? They they look if if they you know the cops are gonna pull over people who look like they might look like uh, right. they're from a gang or they if they have nice cars and they're Hispanic or black they're gonna pull them over and see what you know that's the hood like that's what they do in the hood they just pull you over they see you on a bike they're gonna pull you over you don't even have to be doing nothing you could just be going to the store getting cigarettes or whatever soda or something and they're gonna pull you over what's the worst thing you've seen oh that you can that you can talk that about. I can talk about oh. When I was going to my mom's house and I seen um, somebody get their brains blown out, like two people. Right in front of you. Well, yeah, well, yeah. Well, what they're not going to stop. I mean, there's a hood. Wow. What did you do? Did you do? know them? No, I didn't know them. Okay. Well, what did you do? You just ran? Or? No, I was like, I told my sister, stop. They're going to shoot. So she stops. And then I'm like, I'm trying to honk. <laughs> so they could run, but they don't even know. I mean, I'm just honking, bro. But I'm, so, I'm like across the street. And... Um, it just happened so fast. You're trying to hunt tell them to run, but the person might turn around and start shooting after you. Hey. <laughs> I don't know, bro. My ass is crazy. I, don't, I You know, I was just trying to, because I knew what was coming, because it, 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 it was obvious, bro. You know what right. I'm saying? So, but there's, you know, that happens quick. But it teaches you that you have to always watch your back. Yeah. Right? It could have, like, it, what it taught me was that seeing a couple of people pass away, like, you don't, there's nothing you could do to avoid it like everybody's life is ridden even if i try if i would have honked and i would have got like I, you can't avoid it that's 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 where their life ends mm -hmm. everybody's life is ridden some might die young some might die later but you know i try to save somebody and i couldn't save them so like it doesn't matter you know what i'm saying if if you try to save that person it's it's if there if is there time to go is there time to go what i can't i'm sorry <clears throat> sorry what i can't stand about um the hood or being raised in the hood is a fact that a lot of people make you feel like you're going to either be on the streets, in prison, you know, like... Or dead. Or dead. Mm -hmm. uh, just because of the environment, like, there's nobody good, but I've met people who were raised in the hood, mm -hmm. still had a single household, all of the statistics, and still came out, whether a doctor, lawyer, I mean, actually ro rose above it. And oh, not, yeah. you know, so why do people feel like that's where you're going to be just because you're from the hood. Well, you could also be like, look at Nipsey Hussle, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, he he, he was all hood crip though, until the day he passed away, bro. And he still made it out. Mm -hmm. It's because a lot of people in, our, in the hood is talented. It's just lost talent. And if, if one person comes in, like he was giving, like he, I know he helped a lot of his homies come into the music scene. You know what I'm saying? And go forward with it. You know, and that's the kind of what I'm trying to do. You know, try to do the same thing. I have the light, so I have a lot of homies around me that is talented. And once you, it's like that's what it's hard to get is to get make it in the music industry. That's the hardest thing. Once you're in there, then you, you go forward and you push and you grind. You know what I'm saying? It's it's the work you put into it. You, you know, you you can't you can't put music and you're not going to the studio. You can't be a mus like a rapper. You're not going to the studio laying down no tracks. Right. Right. One of them out of a, maybe you put out like a hundred tracks. What if one of them is a one is a is a hit? You just need one hit. Mm -hmm. You just need one shot. I see the Lupe 46th Street, mm -hmm. the crib, 46th Street mm -hmm. crib. How did you end up even in? How did you get in? How mm -hmm. did it happen? I just, you know, when I came to the hood, bro, I, I, came, I came to the hood, bro. I went, I, I went there when I was 19. I started hanging out with them, and then, you know, I became. How long did it take before you knew that you was a part of it? Not too long, bro. Maybe about like six months. Really? Can, can somebody mm -hmm. be hanging with them and not actually join? Well, I was, I was like, I did. You know, you got to do certain things, right? You know, right, to be initiated. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But can you like say, I don't want to join, but I just want to just hang with y'all? We got, we got some homies that, 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 that do that. Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know if it was allowed or not yeah. allowed or whatever. It's, it's like even some homies from, from different states that they're not from there. They just hang out. You know what I'm saying? Okay. They do certain things, you know, they might help that what we need and then, mm -hmm. you know, they... I think some people feel like I don't have to join but I'll be protected if I just hang out. I know. It's not that. It's because a lot of them are like grew, grew up there. They were born okay. there. So like they... they so they grew up with everybody. They grew, yeah, they grew up there so that it's like then they're like basically they're like their family. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. They become part of it but they're not... All right. You know, so they, they, they're always there. They're not... They're always going to be there 
when we have parties or you know when we have funerals or if, you know they're gonna be there bro how many people that you've known personally have you seen pass away see? from violence yeah not you don't have to personally see but know that passed away from violence oh because i've seen it too yeah seen uh, about let me see. Well, it has to be like that I seen I mean I probably like three okay and then um the homies that passed at least like 10 okay we will always stay going to funerals there's more than 10 it has to, it is more than 10 I can't even keep count no more how does it affect you though because I remember growing up for me and I wasn't even raised in the hood it wasn't nothing about no gun violence or nothing like that but I remember one year um, out of my friends and we were young uh, friends one year I probably had about four people who passed yeah. away that one year and after that I was over funerals didn't want to attend no more funerals didn't, I was tired of it that's what I'm at right now like I'm like once I, I we close the casket on my boyfriend I just like I was like I, I don't I don't want to come no more I'll, I'll probably make it to the repast but I don't want to see no more caskets closed so your boyfriend passed from gun violence no he didn't he didn't he had a heart attack oh, okay I'm sorry to hear yeah. about that he ha, he ha, he's the only one that didn't that I seen that didn't right from natural causes mm -hmm. how long was y'all together uh five years five years mm -hmm. children I, with him mm -hmm. no and you how did you meet him uh, in the hood and basically mm -hmm. y'all fell in love mm-hmm and Y'all just, just what y'all do together? Just go to movies. We, we you know, hang out. My, he was forty six. Yeah, he he was from four six, and then he uh, he uh, he did he did nineteen years in jail. Oh, he did nineteen years. Then when he got out, mm -hmm. y'all got together. Like, maybe like four years, five years after. What he go to jail? What he go to jail for nineteen? Years? Uh, they fucked him over, bro. But you know, back then they had the three strikes laws. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, a cop had. Um, planted like a piece of rock this big bro. yeah yeah they'll do it and my boyfriend he he wouldn't have he you you wouldn't catch it from him he mm -hmm. knew how to hide it and they planted that and that got him 25 to life wow. 25 to life yep Man, and that's crazy how long ago did he pass huh how long ago did he uh, pass like away? a year and a half ago okay. wow how, how was that on you though like like man that killed you right Bro, I was like, damn, like I know, I, and and I and when when I was with them, I was like, damn, finally, you know what I'm saying? You know, finally, like I got me somebody I, like, I can be finally, with. I was like, damn, I found my soulmate, and then like he just just took him away. Like, just I, took him away, but you, you guys, y'all had that time together though. Yeah, we had good times. You know, he and if, if it wasn't, you know, I just thank God that um, he he showed me what it is to be loved. So mm -hmm. he was out five years after you after nineteen years of being locked up. Yeah, he didn't last long. I think it's because of the food in there, bro. Is I think it's a noodle. I think I agree with you. It's a fucking noodles. Like it's a, okay. Can they put something in there? It's it's a, the sodium. It's a salt. So okay, mm -hmm. look. Um, I I had got like when my boyfriend passed away. I didn't know what to do. I wanted to run away. I just want didn't want to be here. Yeah. I just I, I was like fuck. What am I gonna do? I want I don't know what to do. You know like. Like that, like that really right there, um, really like tipped me over to the point where I didn't want to, like I really didn't want to be here. Like I was like, I know, I like why do I always gotta suffer? You know, why I always gotta, you know, you know how you be feeling that? Yeah, yeah. And I was like, damn, this is the last straw, so. When I, you feel like that, you don't even think about your children. I, yeah, I'm like, and I was being like selfish. I had my grandson, I had my two kids, and I'm like, I wasn't even thinking about them. And I'm like, in my mind, I was like, okay, they're already big, they don't need me. You know what I'm saying? They kind they could, if I'm not here, they're gonna be okay. And that's but you know how, that's a lie, right? Yeah, I know, and, and I was, and I was so, I was, Seriously, thinking like that, I was like, man, I'm just gonna fly off this cliff. And and, and what stopped you? Like I don't know. When I came back home, I, I just got tired of being at work. And then um, that's when I told C Mac I'm back, cause he he was asking me like, oh. And then I started hanging out with C Mac. Because you know you have a lot of people out here who are going through what you what yeah. you just described, and a lot of people actually in the past even killed themselves over stuff like that. That's why. Um, you know how C. Mike's always saying everything is gonna see all right. Mm -hmm. He's yeah. basically is because about me. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. He helped me through that. He had That's this awesome. way. He has this way of his language. Mm -hmm. Everybody looks at because he be uh, fifty five. Is mm -hmm. you fifty five? Me and and, and I, nobody hadn't really heard nobody talking like that. He's passionate. Oh yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, how, how did you, like, like when you seen it, when you first heard him, you always was used to that, or? How did I mean, to me, I was like, even he corrects me sometimes. He be like, I'm like, everything's going to be all right. He's like, no, everything's going to see all right. right. <laughs> <laughs> you fight me, and then, you know, like, he's always correcting. Like, he has it embedded in his brain, like, not, not to use no bees and nothing like that. Where did that come from? Like, how long has that been going on? Is that something that's new, or it's always no, it's been, been like that? Right? It's, it's been like that. He he learned that from Tiny Dog. Tiny Dog is from uh, from his hood, and uh, that's where he learned it from. So he, is that where it started? It started or? from him. Yeah. Okay. So he's uh, he be mentioning him. So that's T Fly's dad. You know T Fly? Mm, I've heard of that. He's oh, a God singer. Yeah, that's his pops. Okay. So yeah, so he they got that lingo from him. He started wow. that lingo. So everybody talks like that, not just C-Mac. They all talk like that. All of them. <laughs> <laughs> what do you say when you hear like, whoa? Man, I'm just used to. It. I mean, see, I mean, they all you, they all say the same thing. Is it every word it's just that he made that, it famous? Is it every word that start with a B? They say C, or is it just but certain words? It's, it's almost every word and they put a lot of five in everything fives in everything in everything yeah you five me five show you know <laughs> <laughs> did you ever see him like, did you ever see him like get any of the tattoos that he got because he got a lot of tattoos the, the last tattoo he got was with the tattoo guy that um tap with envy that i I'm gonna get a tattoo this on um, Sunday with him. I'm gonna mm. get a. Um, that was just about to ask if you have one on him. No, I'm gonna. No, I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get one from that tattoo guy. Mm -hmm. I'm what gonna is get, it gonna be? I'm, I'm gonna get a portrait of He's him. Good with, no, no, oh. <laughs> no. My grandbaby, oh. the cutest boy. I have him all over my Instagram. He loves C Mac. He's like. Mm -hmm. The other day he's out, he talks really good and C Mac had called me because he's always at, he's like how's it, how's Isaac Mac he's old because Isaac Mac was sick like last month is he couldn't use a restroom or he has something with his stomach okay so like he that's every time he calls he he like really loves my grandson uh -oh. yeah, I mean like like that could how be old his is he? my grandson's three okay but that's my grandson loves him like my that's my grandson's his favorite his number one fan mm -hmm. like he be watching his videos he knows how to pull the videos up and everything he's wow. that's why i really got connected to see because i seen how my kids and my my son loved him so much mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying so that's how i started hanging out you know really hanging out with him you know what i'm saying and then we just connected it's crazy how like we just and once he brought him around, C-Mac around, they just all meshed. Oh, yeah. That's cool. Especially, uh, we always have my grandbaby with us. Mm -hmm. We will get, we'll take the baby to go feed the port every week. Like, we'll go to, um, we'll go feed, uh, we'll go down to uh, Skid Row mm -hmm. every Sunday. That's good. For, like, almost a whole year, just me and, and him. And give back. Me, C-Mac, and the baby. Wow. And then I'll tell C-Mac, I was like, man, why you don't, because, you know, because of his, you, he always wanted to pay. I'm like, bro, people will donate. No, oh, no, I want to do it out of my money. All right, all right. He, I can never convince him to get no donations for that because mm -hmm. he wanted to give back himself. You mentioned about the sodium. Um, you didn't finish that. Oh, statement. about my about my mm -hmm. boyfriend. Well, mm -hmm. I, I feel like because like I was working in the prisons, right? Mm -hmm. So it was a, a dietitian, and I and like at the time when well, my boyfriend it was kind of fresh, and then I and then she I don't know she started talking about the food, and she was telling me that like. The, the prisoners pick their food. So they pick that food and all the food they pick, most of it is bad for their heart. High sodium. High sodium. And if, if like, I feel like if you look at the statistics, I haven't looked at the stats, but I know if you look at them, I have a feeling like if they've been in there for that long, they're not they're not gonna last long mm -hmm. because of the food they've been eating every, every day. Like they don't have real food. Like they gotta eat food that doesn't, that again. does, that, that doesn't perish or is, it's gonna stay hard for a long time, so imagine that going into their stomach. Mm. How do you feel about the fact that Crip Mac is uh, he in there now, and he haven't eat that food? Do do that scare you that he, you know, do you? It's like, dang man, yeah. I hope he'll be alright from and that he's, food. And he's losing a lot of weight. So so, how does that make you feel to know that he? I'm just go through happy that. that he's not gonna be there for a long time. Yeah, because he got two and a half years, he right? Got, he got uh, he got two with the half, with so the it half. means he's gonna do a year, okay. and then he already got. 150 days credit that's what like five months yeah so he only has to do what about what seven, seven eight, eight. eight months mm -hmm. so i'm thinking he's gonna be out by december because they're gonna kick him out like he's not how, how did series. you feel how did, how did you feel when he first got oh i was that time? so sad when he first went in yeah because i had went to mexico because you know we got the only fans yeah so we went to i went to mexico to get cheaper uh cheaper talent <laughs> 
<laughs> I wanted them sluts that didn't cost a lot. You know what so I'm saying? So you went to Mexico to yeah, get it? Yeah, I went to the strip clubs out there, bro. You know? Yeah, I was going to go on and, and You want to go on a tour? That's right. But yeah, <laughs> we're, 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 we're trying to do tours out there. We're, 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 getting, we're putting it together, like, to go to all the tours down there. It's fun. Yeah, yeah. It's just totally different from over here. Like, it's... The food is good. Everything's good. You just, you know, those girls out there, they, they don't cost so much to do what I want them to do on camera. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So... I go see my friends out there. I go go eat real food, bring back some tequila bottles in the in the content. So that's what I went out there for. And when I went out there, is when he he went in jail, and I was like devastated. Like when you say we devastated, were, what did you what did you it, say? You couldn't go to sleep. You couldn't. I could, bro, I was sitting there, and I'm in Mexico, and I'm people are calling me all day. And you know I'm in Mexico, so I. The roaming charges, like I was accepting all the calls. Everybody was calling me Adam Twenty Two. Everybody called me. Everybody trying to tell you crib Mac yeah, in jail. Yeah, it's crib Mac in jail. I'm like, yep, he's in jail. Like they were, cause you know they, if certain podcasters know, like me and C Mac are really close, so they they know if they want to know if it's real, they're gonna call me. You, yeah. Like when oh, that one time when they said um, he had got uh he had got uh, shot. Wow. But he didn't get shot. It was somebody else. And but they like, said that it was Crip Mac. Yeah, so everybody was they calling like, me. Mac oh shot. my God! I'm like, I and then I'm like, let me find out. I'm how did you? I was like, like how did? What made them think that he had gotten shot? The, well, they they said he got shot. Who? Whoever made that Just video. Just the streets, right? Yeah, like, you know how they're making fake. Yeah, yeah fake. like they're always making fake news. That was like they had shot him, but he don't. And I'm like, when I found out the area, I was like, he don't even be over there. Like he's not gonna get off the car one. If he's in that, he doesn't even get like if if you're in the, if I take him anywhere, I don't let him get off the car. I get off the car, and I buy him everything he needs. He don't even step out the car when he's with me. Cause you know. Yeah, he, he don't step out the car. And that's why he only like I make sure nothing happens to him. You know what I'm saying? Or like I'm I, like I have Uber stickers. Like they don't fuck with us, cause you know the way I look, the the way my car is. They don't even like they don't want to see him in the back. Cause I have tinted windows. Yeah. So when they said that he had gotten shot, what did you? What did you? You start calling around, or did I, you? Call? I went. I, I sent somebody to his house. I, Cause everybody don't know where he lives. Yeah. Only I do, and certain people. So I sent him to the right apartment number and everything. Cause they don't even like you, you. don't even know which apartment building it is or anything. It's big. So. So I send them, and then they made sure he was okay, and then. They hit you back. Yeah. And then you call everybody, everybody, everybody else and say that's not yeah, true. Yeah, he's fine. Yeah. Wow, so how hard is that to, because he was living in an intense situation because with him having that, like, the Hoover, the, kill. Hoover kill on he his head. He did it again. He did it again? He re, uh, re Since he been locked up? No, bef right before he went in, he got it um, shaded back in darker. So that you could see it more. So you could see it better, so you could know the same. How is that traveling with him with that on his head like that? I, I don't know. What do you mean? Like, to, to go to the store, I have you ever, you never be seen with him? You can't. I don't, I mean, we do get off sometimes together. And then, like, if we go to certain things, we do get off, and then people come, oh, can we take a, can I take a picture? picture. I take pictures. But we, like, in altercation, like, he already knows if he takes off, I take off after. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Man, I, I gotta be crazy, man, because y'all, y'all became good friends through mm -hmm. all of this, man. That's crazy. We even were beefy, remember? Yeah, y'all was fell a out. Real like, beef. what did y'all, you, because he was oh, hanging with, uh, uh China, uh, China Mac. Mac. I'm like, bro, really? No. What happened was that he got new management, right? He got signed. So, like, they kind of, like, pushed me to the side of the new management team. So, he, like, his routine is me taking him everywhere. You, you basically, hey. Oh, I was going to. I want to know, tell us about the OnlyFans. I want to know how that got started. Because you mentioned it here and there through the whole conversation, saying that you had to go to Mexico to get, yeah. you know, I call them the actresses to be in the in, in, in the show with yeah, him. The, I need, I um, need, I need so big booty stitches when, in my... Yeah, so when did it start? How did it start? Who came up with the idea? All of that. Well, the idea really was planning from um, Adam 22 mm -hmm. and he kept like oh you make so much money you're a loop da -da -da. I'm like oh my god so I he was trying to make the only fans he couldn't like he couldn't um his idea wasn't going through so then I did it mm -hmm. once it went through we did we, we did the first video and I did a, a, a like a little anal destruction um little uh, promotion video and then uh, Adam 22 shared it and I got so many views on that shit so then my OnlyFans started going up and, and we started, you know, 
It like I think we only had the how only many followers you have on there now. Like it goes up and down every. It goes up and down every day. Okay. It's like every, like it's money in there every day. Okay. So that's how I've been sending C Mac money every week. Wow. I have you ever them, thought about making you one? That's mine. No, being in I, there. In it? Nah, man. I'm I'm like I'm the. I'm like a pimp. Like I'm the one who gets the talent, bro. I'm the I'm the boss. Okay. I'm like right here. This is boss talk. I'm the boss too, in, mm-hmm. in my domain. You know. What I'm I like that. I like that. So you you, know? you you go to so you go to Mexico. Do you ever think about going any other place? I I, I want to go, and see people fuck around the world. See how they do it. Okay. <laughs> that would be different. And you know what you should do too. I know, I know, it's the same, but I want to hear like how it sounds with the, the how, you know, because mm-hmm. they probably moan a little bit different and shit too, bro. <laughs> In different languages, but what you also said too, you know what would be dope? Because the ones that you showed me, you have black girls in those, right? Yeah. You should do every race. Yeah, I, I, that's why I was going to Mexico. That's mm-hmm. Mexican. I want to go to all the. Con- I want to get the Asian girls. I want to get all the girls. I, and you know, he wouldn't care what complexion they are, right? Uh, he doesn't care, bro. Oh, he's, okay. he's worldwide. He, as long okay. as they got a big booty. Wow. That's what he wants. He's a big booty. <laughs> you see, like, as long as his Whoa. face fits in there and, and it's completely <laughs> covered, we straight. Wow, this is crazy. Now, <laughs> how do you get from that to Crip Max say, I want to marry Lupe? Oh, man. It's because. Mm. <laughs> what the hell is that? You know, like, y'all got it going because on. She got him down. She mm-hmm. hold him down through everything. Yeah. Like, why not? So, Bro, I, like, what I, did you the say? Only thing what did I you think do when he was said that? His ass. I, I mean, I did everything, you know, to help us, to help him. We kind of became like a, a, a partner, a partnership, you know more than friends you know so that's that's the way it came about so you would know? you would you probably I, yeah i would you know we we've been like i don't i don't really date nobody else or anything mm-hmm. like that i'm just always working and being busy but we like we blend really good that's as good. friends really we're really good friends he tells me everything so what that's did you awesome. think when he said he wanted to marry you at first i was like what the fuck <laughs> When did you hear surprised. about it? It was on, no, when it was on I, no job. No, remember we did when we got back together. Yeah, yeah. And we were on the boat. And he said, and I he like dropped on one knee. <laughs> did he have a ring? <laughs> wow. I got did, it now. What did he say? Huh? What did he say? Oh man, he's a he's a. Will you marry? Because he said the tacos. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So y'all are engaged. We're engaged, yeah. Oh. I was, but you know, we started the OnlyFans because I want to see how he 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 does good, what he does good, and uh, how good he is. Are you bed. trying to rate him before? <laughs> he like, so if he didn't, so if he didn't do good, you'd be like, oh, here's a ring. Yeah, back. I was, I can't, I was, we can't do this. I was testing out the product <laughs> <laughs> without testing it. Yeah, without uh, testing wow. it. Yeah. I, I was test driving it. So. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy. So when is when is the big day? Y'all gonna put well, the date on? We don't on even it? know right now. We gotta wait. To, we gotta we gotta see when he comes out. Like yeah, the I'm big praying. day. Yeah, when he come out, you gotta do it. Yeah, he wanted to get married. Did he want to do while he was in there? No, he wanted to get married on 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 his hood day in the in the motherfucking alley. In the, he oh. loved the alley, don't he? Oh my god! I'm like, what the hell are we gonna be doing in the goddamn alley? Like, let's you know, it's better probably like the beach or something, bro. But the alley. <laughs> That's what he wants, but they always say wedding dates is not really what a man wants. They always say it's what a woman wants. So what do you want? Well, I, I'll probably get married like at the beach or something, you know. Mm-hmm. That, not the alley. No, not the not <laughs> that alley, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> so what? What's the what's the conversation? What is his? What is his? Like how's his attitude being locked up? You know, this ain't his first time, but how um, is it, how is he holding up? He's a, he he's holding up pretty good, bro. Really good. Yes, but he's used to going to jail. It's not the first time. Yeah, but like, how is gang violence in there? Like, it's 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 what he's uh, he's already used to. So they put him like with the people. Yeah, that he, he's in the general pop with the and they're in there doing what they got to do. He's he's in there with other other um crips. He's not in there by himself. So they all kind of like you know they stick together. They got to squabble. They got they squabble. They, yeah, they they they'll they'll fight or mm-hmm. whatever. He used to that. He's used to it. Wow, and I know I know you might can't talk about it too much, but when I was looking about the DP and uh, I seen that on the internet, um, what did you? How did were you around when yeah, that I happened? Yeah, I took him. You took him mm-hmm. to the place. Mm-hmm. You, you, I'm his driver. I take him everywhere. We go everywhere together. 
So when y'all went, what you knew already? I, I knew he was. I already knew. He told me he was that that, that, that that was he was going for. He was going for the DP. Man. So you know he went on live and he was talking about yeah. it. And then when he when I picked him up, I was pissed because like I dropped him off. I went to my hood and then he called me like 10, 15 minutes later out of breath and then I came back. And I, I was pissed. I was mad. I'm like, I was mad when I got off the car. Because you seen him. I, yeah. And I'm like, well, I know I remember saying, what the fuck y'all do this for? But you told then, him that? Yeah. <laughs> what the hell? Did you, wasn't scared? <laughs> what? <laughs> And everybody just like They didn't want to answer me I was hot They looked at you like What? Like they didn't that say nothing Because that's not my hood Is their, is their hood I can't say no, I can't do nothing about it or, or These rules man How do the rules What the hell Where is these rules I was from? just I was like When I You know Because you know Everybody was like that too man. I, was I was like that yeah, When I, I seen was like, What the f-? Like why I was hot like, and for those watching that don't know what y'all talking about, y'all can elaborate a little bit more. No, like he went to his hood and they ended up. Oh, he had. He, she don't know. Oh, you didn't. The DP, the dis, uh, he he got a DP from his from his hood, and he had a goal. What's a DP? Uh, this like it's like when a disciplinary. Oh. When when they um. When you do something you're not this supposed to. Oh, I know, but I just, yeah. I forgot about it. I remember, remember that. that? I they remember, have certain yeah, rules remember. that you can't do or you're going to get a DP yeah. or they're going to get a put off. Like, it gets levels to it. Yeah, and I remember when it happened, but. So you didn't know it was going to be that bad. It. I didn't because it was a old old videos when he was young. It was right. from Milk. Really? Old videos when he was like in high school. And it was something that. You but he wasn't supposed to get the DP. He wasn't. He, C-Mac is just. C-Mac was like. Just get it over with. He loyal. He loyal he, about making sure yeah, he's yeah, so, solidified to what he believes. So in. yeah. So he kind of like he wasn't really supposed to get. He oh, he 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 didn't wait for everybody to get there. He was just like ready to just get it over with and started it, and it wasn't even supposed to get to that point. So he pushed it on yes. himself to get it done. <laughs> You so, took him. So he, was, <laughs> he was ready. He was mentally prepared, but he, he didn't ready. tell you. He didn't tell you about it when you dropped him off. Yeah, no, yeah, I knew about it. I knew. Okay. She I knew. knew. I could, but that's why I couldn't. But stay. But you couldn't stop him. No, couldn't I couldn't stay. stay. It's not my. It's not a, she forty six. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I left, and then when he when it was done, he called me back. I picked him up. But is that something that you'd want to stay to watch? I don't want to watch that because I, I I probably would have got I, I I don't need to stay there. I, you don't want to jump in. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah, yeah, you want to jump know, in. But you, you know, him. it's uh, you know, he wasn't so he really wasn't supposed to get it. But being C Mac, being C Mac, he 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 doesn't like pressure or people talking about him. He just wants to get it over with. Right. And that's why it went to that point. But it wasn't it wasn't even supposed to be that bad, bro. Mm-hmm. But you know, C Mac is a little crazy. But DP can get worse than that too. Yeah. Oh yeah, you could get to the hospital, bro. It could get worse, mm-hmm. especially if it's a put off. Mm. They said Like that's what Our people run from DPs There's a lot of rules Like you were saying To all of this But when you're Born and raised in it It's just normal. just normal Yeah But for people like me Who's so green And don't know Nothing about this stuff I'm looking like Dang it's a lot of stuff Like So do people Who've never been A part of this stuff Move into the hood And say you know what, I want to start doing this But they're so green Do they do that Or is it just mainly People who Been there Live there well, there's people who come and yeah. want to join, but they got they 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 gotta see what they're about. They're just not gonna let. Yeah, because it's hard to trust. Because yeah. like, who are you? Like, you gotta make sure you know they're solid and stuff yeah. like that. You're just not gonna let anybody in. You know what I'm saying? They, they don't let anybody in. Is the initiation more severe for a person who just moved to the hood, grown person, want to join? Compared to somebody who was born and raised there, and everybody already know you. Yeah, it's a little bit. Di- I think. I think. I it would is. think it would yeah, be. Yeah, it's a little bit different because the trust people. would already be yeah. be there because I knew you since you was. You yeah. know what I mean? But the, the, I think I believe that the ones I seen, they kind of they kind of fair, like they let them squabble. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. They, they it's kind of fair, and they take a couple of rounds. So it's it's not it's the they're not that that bad. We're like they're going to the hospital and stuff like that. You know. Mm. They just want to see how their hands is. Oh, okay. They want to know. They want to make sure they know how to fight and all that. When I look at the internet, I see you. I see up here on the West Coast. When it come down, they're always into something. <laughs> News you can use. Who me? 
Uh, it'd be you, <laughs> C-Mac, it'd be WAC 100. Oh, I he mean, gets on my goddamn nerves. You and WAC 100 don't get along? He, we, got into, we got into it in the beginning. That's why I stopped going on his, on his the last time I went on his- um, Rick on the uh, clubhouse. Yeah, they kicked me out. So I'm like, I'm never coming back to this motherfucker again. What, 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 how, what did he do? He, because, okay, remember um, Blueface and C-Mac were going to fight? Yeah. C-Mac went to jail. And uh, WAC 100 put all his information on there. And like we were mad because why are you putting his information there knowing he has enemies and I'm the only one who takes him to court. So it's just me and C-Mac. So we, we can't, we're not really protected. You know what I'm saying? So he felt like he was putting him in jeopardy and his life in danger by doing that. And he was. You know, he's a high profile person. He's not, you just, you see he has a HK on his forehead, bro. Like you gotta be, you just can't put his information. So it started from there, their beef. And then um, ODM Slim at the time was his manager. So like we will come out, we, we, we will go in there and w like, they'll be asking me, oh, who's his, You're, are you his manager? Like me, you know how he, WAC 100 is really disrespectful. He's real disrespectful. So it's, it's recorded, they're like on YouTube, you can find them, but. He's real, real disrespectful. And so when he would say something, like I remember when when when, when Crip Mac did get to DP, he mm -hmm. had that he it was on his channel too. Like all this stuff, it's always uh, something you know he on his clubhouse. He'd be going through that. That's what they were gonna fight because uh, Blueface has said something about C Mac, and from the DP, and that's when the fight came in. They started going back and forth, and then they they, they put the fight together. So that's where it started from. So then, um, WAC 100, we used to talk to C-Mac, like, cool, like, you know, you should do comedy, you know, try to give him game and stuff, and it, like, just him posting his, his information on, on YouTube, I mean, on, on the internet, the way he did was, was too much. Like, people know where he lives, and he don't like when people be showing up to his house with guns. He doesn't like that. Yeah. So why would you want the same thing to happen to C-Mac? Because it happens to him. I've seen it on YouTube where they show up, they, they show up to his house, bro, where, his, where he lays his head out with his kids. Or his wife, whoever who he's with, I don't, I don't really know too much, but I just know he has a family. So why would you want to put that same pressure on the homie like that? You know what I'm saying? Why? If you, if you go through certain shit when people know where you live, because you know his mouth is always, he's always running his fucking mouth. He, he, he I call him Wacky Williams. <laughs> he needs to shut the fuck. How she got canceled? They need to cancel his ass too. Wow, you just can't rock with that. I, I just. I fuck with some of his uh, artists. Like, I know he has, what, True Car? Yeah. You know, but uh, that's, when, that's the only person I personally dealt with. But other than that, like, I don't, him, I don't, I, don't like the, I don't like his get down. He's too messy. He's like a, a messy ass bitch. Mm. <laughs> He's like a, like the a way woman, he, huh? The way he be talking about people. You, you basically, y'all and, and about, he be talking about, when he talked about Nipsey, that was over. You know what I'm saying? I want to talk about something that I saw in the news the other day because you mentioned Blueface. Mm -hmm. And I noticed that um, in the news you saw where he and his girl or whatever oh, yeah. it was, and, you know, he hit her and stuff like that. She, I think she hit him first. She, she hit him first. Us. Yeah, she did. But he was hauling, pulling her and stuff like that. And that's, and she was trying to get away from him. And that's why she decked him. Mm -hmm. And then he hit her. You know, men are more powerful than yeah. women. So when he, he hit her, she ended up on the floor. Mm -hmm. But what are your views on that? Well, it, the, by the looks of it, is there? That's the kind of relationship they have. Is like she lost her tooth by running away from him, I think, in the house. I was wondering because I seen her without her tooth, and I don't know. They she took does, a picture before, and she had her tooth. So I'm like, dang, did he hit her? Yeah, he caught, he like made her run into the. Uh, she has like a statue, uh -huh. and she ran into it and lost her tooth because they mm. were arguing. How they be arguing? Like they're toxic. Why stay talk. in a relationship she, like that? She's, uh, it, by the looks of it, it, looks like she's used to being in toxic relationships. Like, you, have you seen all the fights she did? <laughs> because somebody told me recently, I don't know how true this is, so don't quote me. I don't know if you've heard it. Mm -hmm. But he had posted, like, he had told her that I'll give you this amount of money if you just oh, need 100K. me. But right. she's laying on his bed right there. She, he's just talking, but look, what I seen right now when I was coming, LAPD picked it up. I knew that was going to happen. So they happen. picked it up. Because and then it's social media. Anything that happens and put out on social media, no matter what it is, you put it out in the open, they can pick up whatever. The, you know, the DA picked it up. Right. Because so that's domestic of um, violence. And then uh, he, he was going to do a show. They, ca they canceled, canceled him off the show. Mm -hmm. So that kind of messed up his image. 
You know what I'm saying? Because you know that that's that's supposed to be his girlfriend. And you say that's why they said what happens behind closed doors is going to eventually it's come out sooner, worse. Sooner, yeah. sooner or later. Because yeah. if that's your imagine if that just happened just now, imagine what's been going on behind closed doors. She all these said, I'm, she said out of her mouth that all her, the checks she gets goes go, goes in his name. Hmm. So she like what? That's what she's there. He gets he he gets all the money that she makes and gives her whatever. That's what I'm thinking. Like she lives right. She's they're, they're always together, and she, that's what she was saying when when he had found. Remember uh, when she took a picture with F- Fabio, whatever mm-hmm, his name is, mm-hmm. and he was he got kind of upset and she was crying talking about it. Like all oh, my checks come to your and your name. Blah, blah. Like she's real loyal, but it's like. He takes advantage of the love she has for him. But he feel he felt I think he felt like he cheated she cheated on him or something like and he'd that. He be the one cheating on her. <laughs> That's why. Mm. How did you end up joining a black gang as a Hispanic? I started because I started hanging out with them. I just I just feel more comfortable with black people, bro. I don't know. It's just you know you I don't see out. no difference. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do some people who are Hispanic look at you like what? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, my my folks now that I'm people know who I am. A lot of people know who oh, you are. Oh my! They be saying, "Why are you hanging with those black yeah, folks?" Yeah, saying you so well, ghetto or something like that. Why you know with the raza? Why you didn't join the the Mexican? Because gang? you're popular da, 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 da. now. But I mean, it doesn't matter, bro. I'm still raza. I still make rice and beans fire I still cook me- I cook Mexican <laughs> food every single all, every time I cook is all mostly Mexican food you can't take the Mexican out of me bro right I even have the accent like I mean what I have the accent that's why I'm like oh you, you but you have the accent okay but I mean it's not gonna go away I learned English when I when I uh when I went to kindergarten, even though I was born here, I didn't learn English till I went to kindergarten. Yeah, because everybody in your house spoke Spanish. Yes, yeah, to this day, it's all Spanish. We don't talk in English in the house. Wow. They cuss me out in Spanish. Everything's in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> so Real you, good. <laughs> so when you joined the Black Games, because y'all was running and ripping and going mm-hmm. places together all yeah. the time. Yeah. They, they, you know, because wherever I'm at, it's, I'm basically only the only Mexican there. The parties, everything, mostly... It's rare when I, it's, I'm mostly the only one in there when we have our own function. So, but I don't see no but difference. But you don't feel out of place no, or none. No, they they don't see me as Mexican. Do some black <laughs> black girls be looking at you like why you why you you know some some black girls be black like folks. Black, black girls. Like my folks. Black girls. Yeah. I don't I don't think so. Yeah. It's okay. it's mostly my culture. Okay. They they like, you know I feel like because. African Americans been through so much racism, like they they're not gonna have that much racism towards us. Mm-hmm. You know, it's mostly because you know the, the it's mostly like in the gangs, like we were beefing against each other, but now like everybody everything's starting to evolve and we're starting to get more connected with each other. But that cholo thing with that guy, the what's his name, that Mexican guy that I was talking about, remember no jumper? Mm-hmm, he pulled mm-hmm, up with mm-hmm. all the people right there to yeah. no jumper. Like, why would you right. do that, bro? You know what I'm saying? Why would you do that? Like, first of all, he apologized and took the video down. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And you're still going with the antics, bro, just mm-hmm. to get clout. Mm-hmm. Like, what are you doing? What are you? Uh, what is he doing? Something good for the, our people? Like, what is he doing? But the generation that we're in right now, and that's the sad thing about where we are at, is the fact that people do things just for clout, mm-hmm. and there's no holes bar or no top on what you're gonna do. People do things. You're like. Are you serious? Just just for that? Because nobody even knew who the fuck he was until he started doing all that shit he was doing when he went to no jumper, that shit. I was like, why would he do that, bro? Just to get on the show? Mm-hmm. Why would you come with all them people? Like, you you ain't going to do all of that in a, in a place that's so so public. Like, that's a social place. Why would you even, like, do that? That's, like, that, that's just trying to, like, do too much, bro. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you this. You, uh, it's been a time, and I've seen it, and I even talked a little bit about it with my guy, but one time Crip Mac got up, walk off the set of Cam Capone News. Oh yeah. I would <laughs> Why? <laughs> what the heck was that? Like Oh my god, it's because um I, and did you talk him into going back and talking to him? No, wanna, he was mad because I um he was I, I believe at the time Cause they cleared I, it up of course, yeah, but it's because I think I, I took too long with the chicken. <laughs> <laughs> no, no for real. The no, I think that's what I heard. It, it, really? it, yes. He was hungry. You didn't hear. He was like, "Like, where the fuck is she at?" I, what do we say? Where is she at? 
I don't know, he said something crazy. And I'm like, oh my God, he got mad over the chicken. But I didn't even know. He was hungry. He was hungry, but I'm like, okay, you want me to do, like, when I get C-Mac, it's not just getting C-Mac. We got to do a lot of errands before we get to the place we're going to. So it's like picking up, it's like a domino effect. We go to the liquor store, we go here. We, we go. And by the time we get there, he needs to get there on time. He's like on time on everything. So he, he'll, he'll like, I'll drop him off and go get the food. But Popeyes takes fucking forever. Popeyes, hurry the fuck up. <laughs> but the chicken is so God good. damn, like, come on, bro. You should already have that motherfucking chicken ready, like <laughs> KFC, bro. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Damn, people already be crashing trying to get those motherfucking sandwiches you guys want to take forever on the look at what happened to C Mac. He almost had a nervous breakdown because you guys take too motherfucking long. Oh. <laughs> the fuck? They gotta do better. They gotta do better, bro. Every, man, you know what it is too? Nobody wants to go to work. Hmm. So like everywhere you go, they're taking longer to they do anything. They slow, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, because yeah, she's telling the truth. And nobody wants Luke, to go to work. You're right. But, but them lines be wrapped around the, the, the place though. It yeah. be so long because they're hungry. Working. Nobody's working. Not because it's good. Yes, yeah, good. Now they're hungry too. Cause you better wait. You gotta wait. Like, you know, if you got hungry, you can go somewhere else. So we go to Popeyes over there, but even by no jumper, cause he always takes some food when he mm-hmm. goes there, and. We there's a there's also they always take forever. I always drop them off at no jumper and I come back. It takes me like thirty to forty minutes to come back, and it's only around the corner. Hmm. Cause it, cause it's like, bad service. They just take. Is nobody wants to work? But the chicken the, good. The chicken's good. The, the, every everywhere is, is short staff. If you really look at it. So okay. So and that's why when you came back, he was upset. Oh, he was pissed. And he just walk off. Mm-hmm. What did he say to you when y'all left? That he, he just said that Cap Capone asked him some questions and I don't know what I'm like but I, like I don't know he was just he didn't he didn't want to tell me that it was my fault I think he was trying to just protect me <laughs> he, he didn't give a fuck if he got mad at Cap, if he made a big deal with Cap Capone he just didn't want to blame it on me because he's yeah that's what it looks like <laughs> he loved he should have just said like bitch you took too long or something Sid she don't say bitch he said Sid she took too he, he'll cuss her he, like when he gets mad at me he'll call me a custer. he's called me a custer before and then when in the show and I go, bro, why you call me a cuss? He's like, because I was mad at you at the time. I'm like, what? <laughs> We're like brothers and sisters, bro. We be arguing like that sometimes. How did y'all end up getting banned from No Jumper? Oh, when he got, when he drank too much uh, gin. <laughs> <laughs> and the, and um, why would they ask him that question, though? It's like, why would you ask somebody about their enemies? Like, it's like. Why would you? Ask, you know how he, he has it on his forehead. Yeah, and why would you them. even spe- specifically ask about that one person? And that's what made him go off. Yeah. So why would like it's Did, not really C Max fault? He was already upset because I know Kazumi had asked him if she could like lick his butt or something. Whoa. Yeah, it was something between those like like going near his butt and he you know he's like anti like he yeah. don't play that yeah so he was like you want to i think he said do you want to die sit or something like that you want me to choke you i'm gonna choke you i don't know he went extreme with this shit so he was already upset so by the time they came and he was drinking gin so when he asked him that one question that Blue. why would you even ask him that wow you know he he's one of those guys man that he don't he's, sugarcoat he's, he don't shit. sugarcoat nothing and he gonna be around man he's yeah. a known figure public figure around the world behind all of these different yeah. situations not just the podcast but just all the different people I got a cousin he loves C-Mac that's all he's like man you gotta watch him man I was oh, like yeah. I never would watch it he kept like kept calling me mm-hmm. like you gotta watch him or we get on a call he'd be like you gotta watch C-Mac I'm like man one day I'm gonna and so then you know a lot of times he got into it with Charleston once they got into it that was oh, another yeah. whole deal it was like wow you had to see him you couldn't miss him he did a good. He did a good video about me, Charleston White. He did. What did he say? He said, "You need to uh, get your Lupe. You need to get you a Lupe." The, and then he called this. He's like, "I got me a Lupe." <laughs> he calls his wife. He's like, "He's like Lupe." And then she starts laughing. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, he's like, because he, he, he says like, I hold him down. He's I was there to take him to the DP. I picked him up and all. Like he like, and you know he talks bad about people. Yeah, yeah. He was talking. I was like, what? <laughs> he yeah. talked good about yeah, you Yeah For like Three four minutes straight So what happened with, Did you see when he sprayed the uh, Allegedly sprayed uh, uh, Soldier, uh, Soldier Boy. Boy Yeah cause he's He be talking He's like Whack 100 They talk too much shit <laughs> they, Like they be trying to get to Whack But he's never at home bro 
They know where he live? Yes, I remember telling you. I know you're saying that, but I thought then he he had to move. Yeah, well, wherever he he can't, you know, they're going to find out where he lives. He, he's like a known person People know who Like they'll probably follow me know, He got friends that might leak his in- information You don't ever know You never know Yeah you don't, you don't It's always the people that's close to you That be fucking you over with no Vaseline Wow So he got it's, it's never no strangers So remember It's, it's never no strangers yeah, That's why you gotta be careful Who you let close In your circle Yeah yeah you gotta be careful What they so, call them the moles Yeah <laughs> <laughs> Everybody got one of them motherfuckers bro So do you <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna do to keep uh, uh, things going? I told you I'm putting some money on Crib Mac books. Oh, yeah. You gotta help yeah. me with that. Yeah, yeah. Cause I told you I already do that. She, my wife, know how I <laughs> okay. am. That's something that I always, I, whether it be a letter or something, oh, I'm gonna yeah. write him. Give He's me his address. So happy, I'm gonna bro. get his address. I'm gonna write him. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna send him some money. Put it on his book. I'm gonna send it through you though. You gotta figure it out. Yeah, yeah. You already dealing with everything anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Then y'all y'all gonna get married, so oh, it's yeah, going down, bro. man. Yeah, y'all it's gonna going go, down. yeah. You gonna y- y- y'all you you can't gonna have a big wedding. Then. You gonna invite boss talk? Oh yeah, we'll talk, we'll, well, you guys want to cover the wedding? You guys could come. We can come back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what, do you ever come to the Texas? wedding on the beach? Yeah, the wedding on the beach. I'm gonna have the drone ambassador. You know the you know the drone ambassador, the one that that be working with. Uh, I, I met him through Camp Capone. He he comes with the drones and he does that like. Oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's good with the drones. He are you going? Uh, where you get these earrings made at? My my sister got them made for me. They dope. You oh see yeah. How they, say, they they do. That's the set. Like <laughs> I need mine to say boss talk. Hey. Oh, yeah. They make they make those. They mm-hmm. could probably put boss talk and then one on one in the bottom. Exactly. That'll like be dope. That'll be dope. I have her make some for you. For real? Yeah. That's, that's good mm-hmm. stuff, man. She'll wear them and, re- and then my, shout out on the, yes, on the channel. Yes, and then my, my sister's friend, I'm, I'm going to tell her to do it for you for free so she can oh, shout wow. them out. Yeah, yeah we'll shout them out on the promo. channel. That'll yeah, that's promo. right. We're going to shout yeah. it out every time. And I'll wear it all the time. Yes, <laughs> I wear these all the time. Everybody says, where you get those? I go, my sister got them done. So I'm going to talk to her when I get home. That, you know, free promo is good promo, bro. You don't ever know. You might get a lot of... You know, just put a little link and she might get a lot of... Um, yeah, we'll put a link and everything in that thing, man. They're, they're silver, so like... Um, Cause I can't wear fake jewelry. And does she do gold? I'm not sure. She I probably will out. if you get yeah, it. I'll take silver or gold, but you know your girl wear gold. Oh, you like the gold? We have to send her some gold money. You know they don't play about <laughs> the gold, right? You can get them silver and get them gold plated. Yeah, yeah, could, yeah you could do, do that. 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 That's yeah, a dope that, way to look at is, it. It's like you know you could gold plate them yourself and then I'll do that. It's just like real gold earrings. You know you mm-hmm. won't even know the difference. Do you? Do, so so when are you going? Do you ever go see Crib Matt? Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go see him. I'm waiting for him to get transferred to the prison he's gonna be at. Then I'm gonna go. I might, I might try to go and see him, pull him out. You gonna try to get, get because he's always in. They're always putting him in COVID. In COVID um, they're always putting him in, in uh, quarantine. Mm-hmm. So like when new inmates come in, they all the whole pod goes into. Mm-hmm. So like that's why he missed two court dates. So he could have been took his time already, but he missed two court because of the COVID. And right. they were trying to say, oh, he's like, they were trying to smut his name, talking about he's going PC. Nah, everybody is doing this. It's a, it's a routine. They're doing it in and all the prisons. Mm-hmm. It's a rule. They got to they gotta quarantine every time you come in there for two weeks because you're coming from outside. Do you, do you, th- do you, when he, when he gets uh, transferred and he come home, y'all going to, y'all going to be back running? Y'all yeah, gonna the same, camp, yeah, the same, yeah, the same thing. thing. It Probably don't change. More. It don't change. It's no. gonna be more. It's gonna be a lot of people trying to get him. Yeah, get he, to him to do interviews. For and sure. Stuff. For sure. He likes doing content with me. Oh yeah. He yeah, loves you, it. You, he you, like, you. He'll be like, "What are you doing?" I'm like, "Nothing. Come over. We're gonna do something. We're gonna do some content. No, we just whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's I'm gonna buy you some weed, and he'll buy me some weed and food. You know what I'm saying? Give me gas money. You know what I'm saying? And I come over there and I do it. You know what I'm saying? Start my day off. You know (laughs) how, um, okay, so once he comes back out, y'all get married. Mm -hmm. Are you going to be one of those women that going to be like, you better not go back to jail no more. I can't do this no more. No, I'm going to try to like, I mean, what can you, it's it's C-Mag, it's nothing like, I'm going to try to keep him out, but I mean, there's only so much you could do. You know what I'm saying? And try to keep him safe, mm. and and have and hopefully he picks the right team because at the end of the day, he's a he's a grown ass man. So like, he, whoever he wants to deal with, f- um, professionally that's on him. But I'm always gonna be right there. Like whoever he has, it could be like this management team. This I might be at ODM Slim. I be whoever he has. I'm always gonna be right there. That's cool. You know, cause I, I don't 
Me and him, we got we already have that established. Well, let's you know talk about your song, your rap song. Oh, yeah. I mean, you which know. one? Oh, Hit Your Lupe. Yeah, yeah. Hit Your Lupe. I got Hit I, Right now, I got Hit Your Lupe on all platforms. And, um, yeah, and that dance is crazy. Yeah, Who that, came that, up with that dance? Uh, it's a hood dance from back in the days. Oh, So it's okay. between the homies. So it's basically, I can name the homies. It's uh, uh, Chunkums, FIP, FIP, Hardhead. You know, he's always talking about Hardhead. Yeah. And then it's, um, you know, the, the homie uh, Newport, he's, uh, he, uh, he rapped with... Uh, with uh, Nipsey and them That's Nipsey's homies mm -hmm. Newport He does a Hit your rolling I don't know if you heard that song yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So I got that That part from him And then the X And then This part is C-Mac So there's like Five homies in one that's but I'm dope. the one who made it kind of famous. But it's really the hood dance. Because I saw you in the, um, when you were in the jail with C-Mac oh, in yeah. there when you were doing it. <laughs> and I'm like, look at them. Oh, yeah. You know what would be dope? When they, when, when they come out, y'all tell everybody they get to see you and Crip Mac only fans on y'all wedding night. Blow the internet. <laughs> it'll blow the internet up. Oh, my God. You sound like Adam 22. I'm just saying, <laughs> you, it'll blow it up. It'll blow it up because they already watching for it. Right. Right. from the right. They never seen them together on there, right? No, never. So if they, if they say the wedding night, we're going to show it. First ass. night ever. First night ever, y'all will get to see. And, and, and you know, they're going to come on there and watch. That's that brand. It's just me, bro. I, I just like having the camera like this. <laughs> I could record the shit. I could like wreck them, like do this, do this but yeah. like me, like girl, put on some blindfold, <laughs> so you know, it's like you won't even be no, there. The money coming. If they do it, the get money real is gonna high kill before it. you do it. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get more so than. So you high. think y'all? You, you think y'all good? You go. That's something you think about doing. Yeah, I probably think about. It. I gotta lose weight. You know how much? <laughs> get out your mind. Get out Bro, of your my mind. my guts getting like. They think they call me. They think I'm fucking pregnant and shit. Like, you say you want to lose weight, here, bro. You forgot he loved the big booty. Yeah, but the stomach. I gotta lose the stomach. My ass doesn't go nowhere. It's just the stomach. Oh, okay. You know so how do? You, how, yeah, that's. I think that's the plan. Nobody never mentioned that. You gonna say? Yeah, boss talk told me that. Oh yeah. My wedding night. <laughs> only fans. Boom. A <laughs> lot of money gonna come. Oh my gosh. What uh, you think? It will. Know, Twenty two is crazy. He's like so like. Running them numbers like you'll make this much, and he's like, Lupe, we'll make this. I'm like, oh my god! <laughs> I'm like, and they talk when he's out. They talk almost every day. Bro. They do. I, yeah. I think it's so because they seem like they got a real good relationship. I talk to him every day, but not like talking. I just like always talk about his daughter, the little girl Parker Mac. Yeah, she's so cute, bro. I just love babies. I love babies. I love little. I used to be a preschool teacher, Aww. so that's why I'm like, I went to school to to be a teacher, and then I work with special needs kids. For like a long time, wow, that's dope. so I have a lot of patience. That's what my my, my one of my photographers mm -hmm. he do that. Yeah, he work with, with, with the kids that uh, especially. You know what's so crazy? Because when I used to work, like if we have circle time, and I used to keep all the kids entertained. Like they, they love I, you. I, I, they never forgot about me. They I was like their favorite teacher ever. I believe it. Because you know I, I'm funny. Like like I I could make adults laugh, and I make the kids laugh mm -hmm. even more. I can like, see it. And it's like I, every day was I was joking around with them. Like it was, you know, that's that's my passion, is kids. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I I gravitate towards this. Like if if we see somebody, some of the homies have kids and stuff. I'm like, oh, how cute! And you know, I I'm good with kids, bro. Wow, you know? that's dope, man. So yeah. how can people get a hold of you? Oh, you can hit me up on uh, my Instagram, Lupe Gotti, forty six hundred. And then I also got um, YouTube, Lupe46, and it has a little TV screen. You just put Lupe46, you're going to see it on YouTube. And then uh, I also have um, TikTok, Lupe Fiasco uh, 4600. So you, that, that won't be going up too. You ran into Bosco 100, I see. Oh. I see that. Oh, my it's God. Like and then when I see this punk ass, he fucking tucked his tail. Really? Yeah, I was gonna punch him, but then the homie was right there. He was like, uh, "Just give him a hug." I'm like, "Oh my god!" He would punch him. I wanted to punch him because he, get, bro, you didn't see how he was talking to me on. on Why? I didn't see it. He uh, might but see it. It, it. And then the the same person who posted it, we went to. They were, he was gonna fight with Nina Boy. Nina mm -hmm. Boy had invited me to the, yeah. the press release. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, that's the one. With, and I that's the only about reason that. I went was to see his weird ass. Hmm. How, and yeah. then at the fight, Nina Boy didn't even punch him. Yeah, that, was that, that fight set up or high. was it? Was it looked like set up. They were just drop, going around in circles like they were ballerina dancers. You, we want to see some action. I mean, come on. He said he was gonna. He what did he say? He said I'm gonna punch. I'm a punch. What did what did he say? I'm a punch. 
the pickle juice out his nose. He didn't even mm. punch him one time. Yeah. I didn't see no juice coming out of nowhere. <laughs> You was there. I was there, here, but yeah, I wanted to yeah, see this shit. What's see the it. name? Was Compton Menace? He called out. Uh, was it Spider Loke? I think him. Yeah, I, I was think just, he did. I was with Spider Loke. Uh, Didn't he do that? I, I, yeah. I think that was that day but too. I don't know. I don't know if Spider Loke's gonna fight him or not. But they did. It's stuff like that going mm-hmm. on. It's funny, but to see people even get out there and punch it out or whatever, I like that. That's better. But they didn't punch out anything, But I'm saying, if you do really get out there and do that instead of taking it to the streets Street, and killing yeah. somebody. For sure, they didn't do that. <laughs> so it's still literally a beef, right? They didn't do nothing. Talk about he want a rematch. Rematch I was going to say, a that's what I'm going Hey man, we're not gonna hold you forever, man. Thank you so much for coming on our show, man. All I right. hope you I hope you like Boss Talk 101. Oh man, I did. Thank yeah. you for inviting me. It, it was a pleasure, you know. How do people I, link up to send some money to Crip Mac? Like if they oh, wanted to send something. So if you something. want to send money to Crip, Crip Mac, send it to um Coach Warren, which is he holds a uh, Lassie Max money. So it's a pro um money sign, program time five. That's in uh, That's uh, it. uh Cash App. Cash App. Cash App and what is it, it again? It, it should be it's Money sign, program time five. Okay. Money. And then is is the name is gonna appear on this Leandro Warren. Okay. Yeah. Leandro Warren. Leandro. So Warren. if if that's it, that's that's for C Mac. It's on my it's on my YouTube, and I have it on my Instagram. But you'll see it on my YouTube. His the when I'm asking. That's why you want to marry her. You see that? <laughs> she, she holding him down, down yeah, man. Bro. Check it, man. Hey, man. It's been another great segment of Boss Talk 101. What a boss's talk. And we out. Neighborhood, bro.